Hi everybody, I'm just going to do a video today about how the Gap Store empowers radical Islam. This is a follow-up video to the video I did about Unveiled by Yasmin Mohammed, and I'm doing this video now because No Hijab Day is coming up on February 1st. So in the book, the author calls out Western corporations who use the hijab in their advertising and who sell the hijab. And an example that she gives in the book is Banana Republic. So I was at the Gap, or I was at Chinook Center in Calgary recently, and I saw this big advertisement for the Gap, and it had it showed all these kids playing, and right in the middle of the photograph was this young girl in a hijab. So I decided to go inside to check out what was going on, and I got inside the store, and there was another large photograph like that with the same kid in a hijab like right in the middle of the photograph. So I talked to the manager and I basically asked her why the Gap was uh, promoting the use of hijab for children. And you know she was really nice. She didn't have an answer for me. She just said something like, oh well you know our our kids play with kids who look like this. So but she did refer me to the head office. So now I just want to let you know that Banana Republic and The Gap are the same company. And I also didn't know that Old Navy is part of that group and a few other um, brands that I hadn't heard of, Atleta, uh, Janie and Jack, Intermix, Hill City are all part of the same group and I hadn't heard of those ones. Um, so in looking at the GAP's website, it looks like that they advocate for gender equality. They say, since 1969, this company has stood for equality. Our commitment to gender equality is built into the very foundation of our company. So when I look at their website, it looks like they are trying to do the right thing, but they just seem to be missing the mark about the hijab. So um, it's time to educate them. I would like to share with you a letter that I sent to The Gap regarding the use of the hijab in advertising and especially the use of hijab for children in advertising. Um, I address this letter to Anthony Bellino, who is the regional visual manager for Canada and his headquarters is in Toronto. So here we go. Uh, dear Mr. Bellino, on a recent visit to Chinook Center in Calgary, I noticed a Gap advertisement that depicted some children playing. What surprised me about the ad was that in the very center of the photograph was a young child wearing a hijab. When I entered the store, I found another photograph behind the till showing the same hijab clad girl in the center of the photograph. What the Gap Inc. appears not to be aware of in running this campaign is that millions of women and girls around the world are forced to wear the hijab first prescribed by patriarchal religious dogma and later enforced by their families and communities. In her recent book Unveiled, How Western Liberals Empower Radical Islam, Yasmin Mohammed, a Canadian ex-Muslim activist who was forced to start wearing the hijab at age nine, describes the hijab as the physical representation of the subjugation and dehumanization and absolute gender apartheid that is commonplace in many parts of the Muslim world. According to the Gap Inc. website, the Gap believes in equality for all. Right now, women in the Muslim world are fighting for basic equality, and many women have been arrested for not wearing the hijab. Saddest of all are examples like Canadian teenager Apska Parvez, who was strangled to death by her father for refusing to wear the hijab. Certainly, the child that the Gap Inc. has chosen to use for marketing purposes does not have a choice in the matter. To quote the GAP website, change comes from speaking up. That's why I'm writing to you today. I invite the leadership and marketing team of GAP Inc. to become educated on this topic so that similar mistakes of normalizing and promoting the hijab are not made in the future. Fortunately, GAP Inc. can rectify this faux pas. Coming up in a few days on February 1st, 2020, women will be celebrating No Hijab Day and The Gap has an opportunity to lend its support to women fighting for equality. Please see hashtag no hijab day and hashtag free from hijab. In addition, Yasmin Mohammed has started an orga organization called Free Hearts 
free mind, which assists ex-Muslim women living in Muslim-majority countries by providing counseling services and a donation can be made here. So that's my letter. Um, so, you know, I think I bought a couple of shirts from The Gap about 20 years ago, and I did recently purchase a dress from Old Navy. Um, so I can't really boycott it because I don't shop there. But we as atheists do have a voice. So let The Gap know that the hijab, hijab is not cool. So I will let you know what the response to this letter is if, I, if they actually respond to me. And I just want to thank everybody for watching and have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.